I ain't never seen nothing like it, y'all. I don't know why I was just so disturbed about Shikata serving, basically. Not even that she served him. She didn't serve him. She just basically confronted him to basically sign these divorce papers for Erica. Like, just... Yet again, in the middle of one of the spices of it, it's like it's honestly like, okay, Shakana, you've been in my gay. But one thing about it is you pop up to like and when like when when it's time to serve the drama. When it's time to be drama full, it, it's kinda like, yeah, at this point, it ain't like at this point, because she been needed the man. She bending the man. She been needed something to hop up and down on, to suck on, y'all. That's how I'm feeling at this point because First off, hey y'all, how y'all doing? What's up, my loves? Welcome back to another review of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta with your girl Ash. That is me, that is I. Check out a couple of videos, like the videos, subscribe, see if you like your girl. You know, I definitely want you to stick around a little bit. Join this little great family train that we got going on here. Great family train. Either I just have a dirty mind or I just did not like the, I must have a dirty mind. I clearly do because I did not like the way that turned out. So I hope it didn't sound like the way it just came out. But nonetheless, I hope you get what I mean. Getting into Love and Hip Hop Atlanta's uh, review for Monday, last, yesterday's episode, because tonight is second Tuesday when this video is going to go up. Salty Spice, episode 23. And y'all, back to this, like, like I don't like y'all. Okay could be the Libra in me. It could be just going through breakups. I know y'all keep hearing it. So I'm like a lot of y'all. I do kind of feel like like my, my feelings could be a little bit biased, but at the same time, I'm a lover of love, a love, love. And so, yeah, as much as I like, like, so far, I think definitely pisses me off because I feel like like he be trying to make it. Like, I'm not saying that Erica is, like, innocent. But I definitely feel like Safari be crossing the line of boundaries. A lot of stuff that he was wrong in his doing. And I feel Erica for wanting to, like, just to be out and just to be done. Like, it's it's kind of like, like, wow, this is crazy. But it's kind of like, wow, we have to go through this extreme in order for you to, to divorce this woman. And then he really don't sign it. Shakana doesn't catch it. He really doesn't doesn't sign it he puts hell yes on the paper hell yes to what if it's a hell yes to the divorce sign the motherfucking papers why does it have okay he basically says it needs to come from his lawyer whatever he's signing whatever 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 okay so what's the hold up because according to erica this 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 could have been done this could have been but i get it it could be some stipulations in there that maybe they fighting about maybe something that he don't agree with as far as like their what's in their divorce decree i don't really know but i feel like so far I'm playing games i don't think it's really down to oh i'll sign when my i'll sign whatever my lawyer signs like okay so sign the papers and get this done that girl want to be done. That girl want to be free. And according to her, you are the hold up. So as far as I'm concerned, when you are the hold up, you are the issue, sir. I don't think necessarily that he's ready to serve, Eric, divorce Erica. I don't think necessarily that he does that. But it's kind of just like, but bro, like, but you don't want to acknowledge your fuck up. You don't want to acknowledge what you was out here doing, violating as the word that we like to use around these parts. Like, you, seriously. Get that girl that divorce so that she can move on and be happy. Like, one thing, y'all, what, y'all, first off, when I see Erica at Spice's party, at her Grammy, not, you know, her Grammy nomination party that meet a dip for her, like, I love me some Erica, y'all. It's just that period. She bat shit crazy, but I love me some freaking Erica, okay? And that's my babe, so I can talk about her. So, yes, I have secret, I have relationships, with, you know, with certain celebrities or whatever. They know it. They don't know it, but they don't, they know it, but they don't know it, but it's cool. That That's how I understand it. So, babe, she's so freaking fine, y'all. Like, yo, anything that that girl can put on, she knows how to dress her body. She just knows how to look good. And that outfit that she had on with, like, it's it's like, it's, it's like she kind of said. Erica is fine as hell. Like, let some other man who wants to be, who, who, who is worth, who wants to be worthy of her. Did I use that right? Y'all know I just be, you know, I be talking up the rabbit. Sometimes it don't make sense, but you know what I mean. Make it make sense in your head. Like, fix it for me in your head. So, like, I, 
it pissed me off because I really was rooting for this. I really felt like they were a cute couple. I really felt like they looked good together, that this was something that could whatever, whatever. But you know what? Some people just not ready. Some people just not meant to be together. And they were put on this earth to basically to produce those possibly those beautiful children. But it's not to say I'm always, I'm that one girl who's just like, sometimes it's not right now, call it toxic. But I'm that girl that's like, sometimes it's just not right now. And sometimes I think that helps us just to get over until we get to that point where we realize, yeah, no, it's done. That okay, it just could be just not right now. So in my mind, I'm like, maybe it could just be not right now. Maybe it's going to, you know, it's going to happen. It's going to come along maybe at a later date, but maybe really like for real, it's just like done. Like at this point, the whole, when the moment that, Erica got wind that Safari was there on another bull and was talking about basically the paternity of their son and stuff like that. That really just, that just put Erica over at that point. Like that, it was just a completely done deal, you know, for her. So, as much as my romantic, my, my you know, uh, my hopeless romantically self, you know, wants this to work. It, it need to be done. And I'm ready to see my, my my girl happy. I'm ready to see her stop crying over this dude. Like, I love Safar. I do like Safar. But clearly, just like, like, I ain't gonna lie. Because I loved him when he was trying to pursue, you know, Juju. I thought him and Juju were really going to be a nice, beautiful couple. But honestly... Safari a fuck boy. Let, let's 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 just make it. He he a fuck boy. He he need he he ain't grown up yet. He's not ready. He he's just not ready. So either way, this whole you know thing ended up happening because, like I said, uh, Mita put this event together for uh, Spice. She was nominated for a Grammy, which she did win the Grammy. Um, I do believe, and like I am somebody who who clearly like I did not know who Spice was prior to this show, um, but the moment she started on, I was immediately a fan of herself just in general. Um, I loved her. Um, I love island girls necessarily island boys or whatever like i i could just listen to that to their culture and i could just listen to them talk all day i just absolutely love it like it's making me think of tanisha right now and i know we were just talking the other day my friend tanisha of course and um she's jamaican and i i i loved i love it like and and you know she's from new york at, at that too so she kind of has the mix but that <laughs> I'm about to say, I'm not going to do it. Don't you do it, Ashley. Don't, mm -mm, not today, not today, not today. So, where you know, you be trying to do your UK. Don't be trying to be a Jamaican Islander right now thinking you got to knock since, which you really don't. See, I probably just messed it up. See, I be mixing up my accent. Don't just sound like I mixed that up with my UK accent. All right, y'all. Ignore that like you didn't hear it. Okay? I know. I'm on a roll. I'm probably spilling fast. So, let me just slow down a little bit. But, y'all, so like I was saying... Me to put on this event, you know, for them. She's moved on, you know, as she says, from the whole Jock and Kendra situation. You know, Kendra is being naive. Kendra doesn't believe her, so that's on her. Is how you know she's leaving that at that. But she's coordinating this event for you know Spice. Like I said, like basically, I was trying to say. See, I got distracted. Big fan. I was a big fan of her from the get go of her coming onto this show. And then when I started listening to her music, like I made that really just so obviously musically, I, I became a fan. Like I absolutely just love Spice. She is, and knowing you know, and I think as well, like I just have a thing for like underdogs, and I have, a, and I have a thing for people who you know have a story. I guess I'm having. I mean, we all got a story, but I guess just. You know, th those kind of things just really get to me, especially for a girl who like coming up from the struggle and, you know, you know, has lived in a struggle with her own parents and, you know, has her own, had her own experiences and then just, you know, trying to get her own as the butt. I bought a button today that said building my empire. So I can completely, you know, understand that and get that and where, you know, the things that she was just trying to do for her culture, for her family at home, for her kids. So like I... Love Spice. So they put on this event, Safari. Basically, it was like, uh, kind of like how they do in like the music video, like the uh, music award shows where, you know, they're honoring somebody and then basically they'll have other people come out and like, you know, do their songs. And so this was like a more honor, like intense. Like they were basically, you know, acting like they were Spice as they were performing Spice's songs. Safari performed, him and Mita did the song that she did with uh, Shaggy. It was, you know, a truly an event. 
everybody came out, including Kendra and Jock. You know, they stayed there. It looks like they, for the most part, they stayed their different distance from everybody. But Mita did kind of just say, you know, like she said, I moved on. But I guess that was her way of saying, like, they're invited, but I'm over it. I'm not going to address them. I'm not going to address the situation. I'm going to leave that where it's be. I interact with our interaction. And we just basically just going to move on from that. Like, it ain't nothing to really touch on. So, it was great just seeing everybody. Uh, wait a minute, was Sierra there? Anybody want there? Was Sierra there? Now, let me know in the comments was Sierra there because I definitely don't remember. But everybody came and everybody was just giving just like, you know, mad love because like, like, Spice is that like Cinderella, you know, like type story, you know, from the, and not to say that other artists don't have that Cinderella story, but to come, you know, the struggle of not having an album, having the issues, you know, with labels and then fight, and then from that to put it out and then to get in the Grammy, like that, like that's. The, that that's it right there to finally get into that point where you are basically like like dang I ain't even got an album I can't even get an album out so well this it's just well deserved and I love that everybody came out showed her the love and you know respect you know that she deserved but they got this Vegas trip coming up y'all I can't remember oh yeah yes so they have a Vegas trip coming up Spice and Carly did a new song with they did do another song they scratched the you know the other one so I definitely have to look that up on iTunes because from the I feel like they did kind of play it a little bit or whatever. It definitely sounds like it's a vibe. So they're supposed to be going to Vegas. I feel like Vegas is also for the Grammys. I feel like Vegas for the Grammys, but also as well because they're going to record a video to that song out in Vegas. And so all the ladies are going. Everybody's on some, you know, what's, what's, what, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I know that's going to be my motto when I go to Vegas. So I'm definitely happy to see what's going to happen, though. Somebody always does have something out of their butt when they go on vacation. So Safari shows up. That's the one of the surprises that we see for next week. So though I don't think that's going to be the end of the surprises. But the question is, who was the messy person to invite him? Carly? Why would it not be Carly? Just one thing about it, Carly is just messy as hell. So getting back to Jock and Mita, getting back to Jock and Kendra, you know, they're... Figuring out, you know, trying to figure out how to move past, how to move on. I do think Kendra needs to give him, you know, I ain't going to hit on that yet. What happened at the event or whatever, I thought it was just Carly being messy Carly. Because sometimes it's like a death of read the room like type of situation. And just knowing when, basically, what's the saying that people always say? There's a time and a place for everything. And I get that she had been trying to reach out to Kendra to address her whole popping out the cake slash box or whatever. But no. Like, I don't feel like she should have pulled up on her. And then, of course, like, then you cause more drama into it. Like, I just, because I feel bad. I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you. Yeah, I, I would have did the same thing Doc said. All right, let's go. Like, like, what do you feel bad for, Carly? What do you feel bad about, Carly? Because you really felt bad if you really was trying to respect Kendra in the first place. You maybe should have even addressed or let her know, hey, this is what happened. Or you should have not done the shit at all. And then you're going to sit here like, for one, when you told us, the audience, that his, uh, what was like his manager, his cousin or whatever called you. Granted, maybe it wasn't need to know information at that time. But you didn't include that he knew uh, that you were popping out that cake. And even by the looks of when, from the clip, he did not know you were popping out that cake. Now that part, I, I'm a, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I think that he, I think she lying though. I think she lying because again, she just likes to be messy. I think she lied about that part. But at the same time, and even in regards to again, just talking about Kendra and you know and Jaseel, I I ain't gonna lie y'all. I got mixed feelings now at this point. Like when he pulled up with Spice, it genuinely was just like like friend. Like part of me, I, no, because part of me was just like. Of course you want a heads up. Like, you want to make sure you get all your stuff straight, whatever, whatever. At the same time, the look in his face, it was just like, like, sis. Like, this is causing so much more mess than what it's supposed to because this girl is lying. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say and act like, like, it isn't a possibility that that girl could be lying because that, this is, this is what females do. This is what females will do. So, I ain't going to lie, y'all. Part of me is like... Jack a hella game girl. Like, don't be naive. Jack a hella game. And at this point, Jack on la 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 
to the end. He gonna carry out that lie. So, you know, like I, I, I know uh, Spice was saying that they were close, but I not realized upon their that meeting that they were really, you know, that close or whatever or whatnot to the point that it was just like, I don't know. Part of me felt like he had to pull up with Spice to kind of like, you know, like clear things up for like himself, make himself look clean in it. But at the same time, if he's feeling like, 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 nah, as my friend, even though that's your friend, but you're supposed to be my good friend too. I should have got a heads up. Like you, like, do you even have some type of loyalty to me? I don't know. It, it's like, clearly it could go both ways. He could very well be playing the game, but very well he'd be coming at her in an honest way, like friend, friend, your friend is tripping friend. But at the same time, I, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it at that, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know about where I'm at as far as, like, that. But at this point, I'm kind of over it. Like, what y'all going to do? What you going to do, Kendra? I, at first, I was just like, from last week, when she was talking about, like, jot and talk to my family and address my family and let them know, you know, whatever, whatever. At first, I was like, like, hell yeah, but he, you know, whatever, whatever. But now that I'm thinking about it, like, yeah, okay. I feel like they do they do need to be addressed just because they are in the public eye and it's going to get out to them or whatever versus not versus if a regular person, if, you know, they clearly, if we have issues, it's not going to go out there and be in the blogs. So I can just like keep a plan, like just to let you know that, hey, we're having some troubles right now, but we're going to get through it. I do feel like that because the fame is going to know, the fame is going to come to Kendra. So it's kind of like Kendra, like they're going to have, like somebody's going to have to address somebody basically because they're going to have questions. I feel like it needs to be, I don't feel like it needs to be like, let, like, let them kind of like believe what they want to believe. You kind of get what I'm saying? Cause I feel like, regardless of what the blog is saying, you tell them need to know information. We're going through something, you know, as a family, we're struggling, but we're going to work through it. We're doing all that we can. We as a couple, he's doing his work. I'm doing my work, whatever, whatever, whatever. The details I feel like don't need to be spilled because I feel like, you know, it's, it's, it's that thing when you continue to go to your family about things that your or friends that things that your significant other is doing over and over and over and over and you've moved on you've moved past it y'all are good but the family is still over here like feels this type of way about him because of how he's doing you and vice versa because I don't make it seem like but we talk about you know this situation so but so that's why I kind of feel like like uh yeah he need to address him but I don't feel like it needs to be a whole like I mean at the end of the day right he is gonna have a whole new, a whole nother baby, so it is kind of like. <sighs> is what is the likes of that family not seeing that baby ever around and just being like, so I, I, I don't mm, now that I don't think about it, y'all. I don't even know, but do y'all get what I'm saying though? Do you, do you get what I'm coming from? From that, it's just like there's a way to like you know let you know let people in but at the same time without like putting like some things some things are just sacred within a marriage and everything does not need to be talked about or talked to others everything does everybody does not need to be in your marriage about everything nobody needs to be in your marriage period but that's what I'm, you know, I'm fearing. And then now Jock having, I mean, hey, that's his consequences, really. That is the consequences of his actions. But this is a tough one, y'all. This is a tough one. But I think I'm going to end it here. I think we'll go ahead and just end it here. Excited for next week. I definitely know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts on this week's episode. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, peace. And I'll catch y'all later.